Hey guys! So today I am filming a no makeup makeup look because in the summer most people don't like to cake their face on with makeup. Um, I know I don't because I just here in Atlanta it's, it just gets so hot and lately it's been so humid because it's been rainy. This type of video kind of depends on how much makeup you're comfortable with wearing. It just kind of depends on your personal preference. Some people would think this much makeup is too much for this look and some people like wouldn't be comfortable with this little makeup if you are picking up what I'm putting down. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning so I'm just like not there right now. Uh, Alright so this is going to be a talk through tutorial just because if it wasn't it would literally be like a two second long video. All my social media will be linked down below and so if you want to go check out like my Instagram or my Twitter or any of that, I also have my Snapchat username down below. Um, you can just go check that out and yeah, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is primer. If I put makeup on, I like to wear primer just because it just, I just, it just makes me feel like my makeup is going to stay longer. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I picked this one because it's going to erase my pores, but it's not going to show up. So it won't look like, like anything's on your face. So I just put like a pea size amount on my finger. And I'm just going to kind of dot it around where I want it to smooth out my face. And I'm not going to rub this in. I'm going to tap it in because that way it will fill my pores in better. There are some higher end products that I'm going to be using. But you can always substitute that out. There's so many great substitutions at the drugstore. I'm going to be mixing these two. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. And mine is in the shade 40 Nude. And then I'm going to be mixing in the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Champagne Pop. Um, I'm doing this because I'm not highlighting today, so I still want to have that glowy skin. I don't want to be matte because dewier skin looks more natural. I'm barely going to be putting any of this on because I don't want to look too caked. You know, this is a really great foundation for summer. It's super light. It shows my freckles through. All it really does is even out my skin tone. It provides a little more coverage for my troubled areas and yeah that's really it. So I'm going to put one pump of this on the back of my hand. Literally one pump. That's all I'm using. I'm going to put half a pump of this and that's just going to help keep my skin luminous because I am going to set my face because my skin does get, tend to get oily throughout the day. So I'm mixing this with the back of one of my brushes and then I'm just going to kind of like dot this all around. I'm going to like stay away from this area in my nose because I still want it to show my freckles. So I'm just going to blend that in my beauty blender and as you can see it like barely changes anything. So now I'm going to be using another Maybelline product. This is the Insta Age Rewind uh, Concealer. Mine is in the shade Medium. I wanted it to match my skin more because it looks more natural if you're, it's not like super highlighty. I like this foundation, I mean concealer because it doesn't have like super full coverage so it won't cake up or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put like a tiny bit under my um, eyes and then conceal my troubled areas. Again, I'm kind of staying away from my freckles. And if you guys don't want to spend money on a beauty blender, I would really recommend the Real Techniques um, sponge. You can get it at Ulta or um, you can get it at... Target or Walmart or Walgreens. It's only like six dollars whereas this is like 20. I'm gonna take the side of my beauty blender where you can see there's not a lot of product on it and I'm just gonna go over like my cheeks and my nose to kind of soak up all the excess product. This is one of the products I was talking about that's definitely more high-end. Obviously you don't have to have this. I'm using this because this is the only cream bronzer I have. You can get 
cheaper cream bronzer than this at your local drugstore or even Sephora has much cheaper cream bronzers than this. This is the Chanel Soleil, Soleil 10 de Chanel. I don't speak French so I can't pronounce the words very well. This is my favorite cream bronzer. I don't know if it's actually the formula or just the fact that it's Chanel, <laughs> but I love it. And I'm just using this just to my face look less flat because when you add like all those skin tone products to your face it just kind of like flattens out your face and it doesn't look as natural so that's why I'm gonna add a little bit of this. I'm just taking it on my beauty blender because the beauty blender is great for making things look natural. And I'm just applying this to where there would be shadows on my face. So the hollows of my cheekbones and then I'll apply it to my, like, a top of my forehead, like, a tiny bit on the outside of my nose, and then a little bit on my jawline. Okay, so as you can see, that didn't make, like, a super big difference. You obviously don't have to do that if you're not comfortable with bronzer or if you think that's just too much. Um, I just like to do it because, to me, like, I think I look weird if my face, if I don't wear bronzer. I'm going to go back over this pimple that popped up literally overnight <sighs> don't you hate that when your skin is like pretty clear at the moment and then you wake up and it's like a giant pimple and you're like really <laughs> like why <laughs> so now I'm going to just set my face super duper lightly again you don't have to do that do this a lot of people don't set their face on a day-to-day -day basis I like to because I don't like it when my concealer creases and my skin gets oily like in my t-zone today I'm gonna be using the Mac mineralized skin finish this is great for people who don't wear a lot of makeup because it's pretty light but you can also build it up for right now I'm just going to put this under my eyes and on my eyelids with this brush this is the Anastasia um, A23 brush. Real Techniques brushes work just as well like the Real Techniques setting brush. You can get it at Target. Um, it works literally just probably better than this but this one's right in front of me and my Real Techniques one is across the room. <laughs> then I'm just going to kind of take this down my T-zone. I am going to set like the bigger surfaces of my face with a bigger powder brush. So then again, Real Techniques has a cheaper dupe for this. They have like a huge powder brush that I love. Um, again, it's all the way across the room, so I'm not gonna go get it. So today I'm using my Sephora powder brush and I'm just like really lightly gonna set my face. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can literally still see everything through it. So now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. My eyebrows are tinted so I don't really need to do much to them. Um, I just like to set them in place so that they're not like going everywhere throughout the day. Also if I my eyelashes are also tinted if you guys want a tutorial on that um, let me know down below or like this video because I can totally show you guys like what products I use to tint my eyebrows but my favorite product to use in my eyebrows is the Benefit Gimme Brow and this is perfect if you have sparse areas in your brows or you want to darken them up since my eyebrows are done I'm literally barely gonna use any of this um, like I'm literally scraping like all the product off and I'm just gonna run this through just to like make them look presentable. The good thing about tinting your eyebrows is that it dyes all the little peach fuzz too. So like if you do have sparse areas, a lot of times there's still like little tiny hairs there. So it kind of fills them in for you. Okay, so as you can see, that literally took two seconds. The last thing I'm gonna do is add mascara. My favorite mascara is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, but a really good drugstore mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is actually Jaclyn Hill's favorite mascara, so it's really good. Um, I just like this one because my eyelashes aren't naturally very like spidery or long, and this just helps with that because of the applicator is super like spidery. <laughs> I, I don't know how to talk, but yeah. 
um, and it's super black, so that's why I like it. Literally, in like two seconds, it makes such a difference on my eyelashes. Okay, the last thing I do every single day I can't live without is chapstick. Um, this just kind of adds a sheen to your lips, but it's clear, so it doesn't really do much but it feels really good so this is a super natural makeup look i think this is just so pretty and so natural um if you have any questions you can comment down below and i will answer them and yeah i will see you guys in my next video um have a great day and i love you guys and make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye